Well, hello and thanks for joining me on an absolutely glorious morning down here on the sand dunes at Aberfrau in Anglesey. It's just after 6 a.m. It's the middle of May and we're back to the sort of conditions that I've spent the last three months waiting for eagerly. Um, I've never brought you down to this neck of the woods before. I'm just out walking the dog. You may know if you follow me on social media that I usually post a picture or two from around here. Um, and very often it's some of my best work because I get the fabulous conditions, but I don't usually video it. Now I've equipped myself with a new Osmo Action 3, which just fits in this teeny tiny little pouch here. Um, and I wanted something that I can carry around all the time so that when I do find those shots, I can share with you how I captured them. What I've got with me today is uh, my EM5 Mark III uh, and my standard walkabout lens, a bit of a super zoom. I wouldn't normally use it uh, for general work. I certainly don't take it out when I'm specifically doing a photo shoot, but as a kind of walking about lens, family events, taking the dog out, works really well because it goes from 14 millimeters out to 140 millimeters. This Lumix lens, as opposed to a lens that I've used in the past, which was the uh, Olympus 14 to 150. This is noticeably better than that. I got some good results with the, the lens that I used to walk around with, but I had to work harder for them. Uh, and I've only had this a short while, but found it to be really, really sharp. I'll share a couple of pictures now that I took with this over the last couple of weekends out walking with the dog. Uh, so you'll see what I mean. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything today. I always carry the camera. This is, as I said, my walkabout combo. But very often I come home, I haven't seen anything and I, I don't bother using it. Um, it doesn't put me off carrying it. It weighs almost nothing. And I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Maybe want another treat. It's not how it works. She thinks that if she goes for a quick swim, that entitles her to an instant treat. I'm told by the lovely Mrs. G that I give her too many treats, but how could you not? I mean, look at her. She's having so much fun and she comes and sits by my feet and shakes water all over my trousers. The least I can do is feed her. I'm really liking this line. Uh, this is something you'll have seen me shoot before if you follow my social media, but what I'm quite liking is that because the sun is still really low, there's light over on the far bank uh, over there, but over here in front of me, we're in quite deep shadow. There's nothing I can do about the sand over on the left here. Uh, I've got all these footprints, but I could get down low something like this and minimize it. I'm loving the, uh, the colour and stillness of the estuary. Uh, there might be an image there, but I think if I back up a little bit, I'll be in a fair bit tighter than this, I think, on the, on the camera. Let's have a look. So I got that shot. Um, I always like the, the way that the lines converge as you look down the estuary. It's quite unusual because it's sort of dog legs at the bottom and wraps itself round a headland. 
What that means is that unlike most estuaries of this nature, it doesn't just widen out onto the beach area and sort of peter out. And it kind of creates these really quite distinct lines. This little camera is absolutely astounding. I can't believe how good the stabilization is and how it keeps the horizon level without a physical gimbal. I've had action cameras in the past, of course. I started this channel with this sort of kit. Uh, a very early GoPro Hero 3, I think, was my first one. A couple of GoPros later, after they got a reputation for melting down, um, and then, of course, recent ones, overheat and shut off in the middle. I've had this switched on now probably for the last, I don't know, 40 minutes. Um, and I'm still only about 60% through the battery. I've just left it switched on the whole way. It's really easy. I moved over to gimbal cameras because I absolutely hate wobbly footage. And so I was constantly lugging around something for that reason only. Um, and in some respects, the, the, the Pocket series, uh, they, they just couldn't handle dynamic range at all. I'm recording this on the d -cine like I will grade it, uh, but my exposure is completely automatic and I haven't put in any exposure compensation. I've just left it on standard. Another thing worth mentioning about these dog walks, why, you might ask, do I bring such a long focal range lens with me? And the reason for that is just over there behind you. Of course, I'm looking across to the mainland. I've got the fabulous peaks of the Fleen Peninsula. Um, so I've got a raval just poking their heads out of the morning mist. There isn't really a shot there today. Um, what I'm usually looking for with that sort of thing is some drama in the sky or something in the foreground I can use. It looks lovely. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful, but it's not a photograph. But if it was a photograph, I would want my long lens. I'll often shoot anywhere between 80 mil and uh, 120 mil for this kind of composition. So uh, as I said earlier, I'd rather have it and not need it. Uh, than, what is it? Need it and not have it. What a beautiful morning. She's always trying to catch the sand hoppers. As if Labradors weren't deranged enough. So having bought this action camera, you'll probably see more excerpts from down here. You won't see one of these big, long, rambling rubbish. I mean, I'm willing to bet that nobody's going to enjoy this video. Uh, this is absolute self-indulgence. I'm, uh, I'm not making this for anybody other than myself. Uh, and I'm trying the camera out as much as anything. I'll let you decide what you think of the results. This little rocky area here at the end of the beach is somewhere that I often just sit on a boulder and have a pit stop. Uh, in the winter, it's really handy. I look forward to getting to this point because I can just get some shelter in the lee of these rocks because the prevailing wind kind of comes this way. So it's, uh, it's a spot that I always look forward to spending five minutes in halfway around my walk. Uh, and these rocks around here often form the basis of a photographic composition. It depends where the tide is, um, and today isn't one of the days where it's going to work at all. Uh, but one or two of the images from within 
sort of 30 or 40 feet of where I'm stood at the moment, I've, I've been quite happy with. So the advantage of this new camera is that should I come across anything like that in future, I'll probably have this with me and I'll be able to show you how I go about it. Come on then, let's head off. So I'm up on top of the dunes now as we head back up towards the lane where I've got the car parked and it's not a good day for it today as you can see but there are times when the photography in the marum grass is absolutely unsurpassed. I really enjoy it. You've got the great views out across the water, of course, but the dune system itself is really extensive. Um, some of the old sand dunes that are now grassed over are huge. When you get the light bouncing off them in the early morning, uh, it can be quite spectacular. Uh, I was a bit late out this morning, if I'm honest. I should have been out about half an hour earlier. But um, yeah, this, this sort of area for strolling through and enjoying the scenery, whether or not the camera sees any action, is really interesting. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, even if it is a little bit rough and ready. Uh, perhaps not the production values that I tried to achieve in the past but of course that explains why um, those of you who've taken the trouble to subscribe to my channel for which I'm extremely grateful might be wondering well where are all the videos um, it hasn't been a very productive three months or so although that said it's been very productive on the photography front so clearly there's a correlation but with this new setup I'm hoping that I will be much more easily able to carry my gear around, much more easily able to quickly switch on and chat to you and rabbit on about what I'm doing. So I'll leave it there for this one, nearly back at the car. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, why not subscribe and join me next time? Cheers. Cheers.